What's up everybody? We're here with the, uh, the F80. Getting ready for a track day tomorrow. And in typical fashion, it is nearly nine o'clock at night and I am just now putting on my brake pads. So what we'll do is we'll just walk through um, one half of the car um, then we'll just repeat the, uh, the steps the same on the other half for the whole process. Um, starting here with the right hand side. Um, I have Carbotech. I have the uh, XP10 brake pads. This will be my third uh, track day with these pads. Uh, the wear has been absolutely fantastic. The performance is fantastic on the track. I haven't had any brake fade and quite frankly, I don't think I've pushed them to the limits yet. Um, this weekend, I'm going for Saturday and Sunday, so I'm going to push them a little bit harder this weekend and see how they go. Uh, and for brake pads, not many tools are needed. i uh, got my breaker bar. We'll uh, pull the lug nuts loose. i uh, got my impact gun. Get the uh, lug nuts on and off and on a little bit quicker. Torque wrench for when we put the lug nuts back on. Make sure our torque's good. Um, and then I don't have a, a tamper kit, so I just have a couple uh, screwdrivers where I get the pins out. These are the sizes that uh, work the best or what I've been using. And then I have a larger uh, screwdriver to compress the, uh, the spring that holds the pads in. And other than that, I just have uh, a magnetic shop light. It's, like I said, it's 9 o'clock at night, it's not much light in my garage. So when we get underneath the wheel well here, we'll have to use the light. Uh, but with that said, let's get this side up in here. Okay, and one tip for the F80s, uh, the chassis is very rigid. So if you use the front um, jacking point, you can actually jack up the entire right hand uh, side of the vehicle and we'll, we'll do both the front and back at the same time. All right, we've got the entire half up in the air. Let's get the wheels off. Alright, got the right hand side in the air, got the wheels off, um, I'll pull the camera down and let you guys see uh, what we're working on here inside the wheel well. Okay, so now we're going to pull the, the pads out. Start by tamping your pins loose. Now, in some cases, you're going to have to depress the pad a little bit to get it loose. Okay, both those are loose. Okay, something that I did uh, for the pads, I threw a little tape on it and I put right front inner and right front outer. So I'm always putting the pad in the same position for wear and um, for my rotor sake. So, and then I do the very same thing when I pull out uh, the stock pads. I'll use the same tape. I'll put them in the same box and try to keep everything uh, in the same order. So when you put the 
the front spring back in. You can't put the pin in first and then put the spring in like you can in the rear. This all has to go on at the same time because there's you can't clip it on. So Okay. It. It. I just Okay, so front ride is in, and the last thing I like to do is just check if the spring uh, is centered. That one was a little off, and the bottom is pretty good. So I just check to make sure that the spring, so I can zoom in on it. Sometimes the top here, it can get kind of linked over to, to one side or the other and kind of sit out of the there's actually a little groove in the pin. So just to make sure it's all lined up and everything's good. So, um, yep, front right's on. We'll move over to the, um, the right rear and go from there. Okay, now we're on the, the right rear. We'll get the pad going. Uh, one thing I didn't mention up front, uh, as I am running the Turner 12.5 millimeter spacers, uh, front and rear. Uh, it's actually called the Turner Flush Kit. And then I also have um, 90 millimeter uh, studs in there as well. I went with the 90 millimeter because uh, in some of my research, the 75 millimeter um, stud would barely accommodate up to a, a 12 millimeter spacer and I didn't want it to have hardly any room and quite frankly um, the studs hardly even stick out of the rim so it's not like they're you know sticking out an extreme amount and going to the track and doing this stuff swapping tires out and, and things like that it makes it so much easier to do with the studs so uh, I highly recommend looking into a pair of these as well all right let's get this in head out Like I said, so the ones in the rear, the spring comes right out. So you can actually put one of the, the pins in first and then put the spring in and then put the other pin in. So uh, the rears are, are much easier. However, so on F80s, on the stock brake setup, on the right rear in the left front, you have your brake wear sensor. Try to zoom in on it really quick here. So you guys can see. So you can see this little wire right here. This actually plugs into the uh, brake pad. There's a little uh, notch on the brake pad. I'll show you how it's set up, but you have to, we'll pull this thing out. Let's see if I can get it done now. So it pops off pretty easy and then all I do is there's uh, your brake line back here I'll just get some electrical tape and I tape this up because when we go back to stock form we're going to want to reinstall that back to the caliber god forbid you'll get a check engine light or something crazy all right we'll... okay so again we got these things labeled up Right rear, outer. So that's where we'll start. And so you could see right here on this pad, camera will adjust, is right here in this notch. This is where the brake wear sensor goes. So just slots right in there. It's very easy to take it on and off. And we got the right rear. Let's see if it'll zoom in. Inner. And 
Yeah. 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 That's it. So then the only thing I have to do is I will get some electrical tape and I will uh, let me pull out this one here. There we go. I'll get some electrical tape and I'll tape up the uh, brake wire sensor wire here and then that'll be it. We'll throw the tires back on and then this side will be done. So um, swapping pads is relatively simple. This is my third time doing it now so getting pretty proficient at it and we'll just repeat the steps um, on the other side and then we'll be we'll be good to go for the track so hopefully this helps um, shoot me some comments if you have any questions I'm happy to give you more feedback on the on the pads and uh, spacers or or the wheel studs as well so take it easy thanks for watching don't forget to hit like and subscribe.